Hey everyone! Hey everyone! Welcome back to the girls. Today I'm going to. Hey everyone! Welcome back to the girls. Um, make sure you guys all subscribe to our Ocean Family. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to drive a Jetson hover ride a Jetson hoverboard. And yeah, just basic things that you need to know to be able to do it. So the first thing that you need to do is the first step is you need to charge it for two hours. So I'm going to show you that first, and then I'll show you step by step. Okay, so let's move over here. I'm gonna grab my hoverboard, and I we took it out of the box, it's my charge stuff. We took it out of the box, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna, I put my charger over here. So I have this, hold on. So when you read the directions, you do see so when you read the directions, it says to plug this in before you put it inside the little slot, this little hole. So I'm going to plug it into the wall as so, like it says. And look, it shows that blue dot. See, it has that blue dot. When you charge it, I'm not sure what color it is, but look, I'm going to plug it in. It shows red, but red means it's charging. So I'm going to turn it on, and look, this will always appear yellow. You do not want to listen to that. It says yellow, and I charged mine for about five hours when, when I first got it. And, yeah, it's, it was still yellow, so finally I just unplugged it. Oh, you want to turn it off? Unplug it. Do this. And if this is green, that means it's good to go, and yeah. So, yeah, don't listen to that yellow when you charge it in. So, I'm gonna, oh, you wanna close this so I don't rip? So, yeah, I'm gonna turn it off because, yeah. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. So, oh. so okay, now that we went through the first step, that once you charge it into the wall, yeah. So you do not want to let it overcharge over two hours because, so make sure you guys have a timer on or something. You do not want to it's charge over to two things. hours Stay because it will kill the battery as it says in the instructions. So yeah, I'm going to teach you. the second step is to make sure it's charged and everything. And that is it. So let's go to the third step and show you how to basically write it. So, okay. So you're going to want to turn it on. On the back of it, you want to turn it on. Then you're going to flip it over because you always want these guys to be in the front. If this is in the back where you charge it, you will go backwards and you'll know what you're doing and you'll just fall. Like once I did. So you're going to want to have your feet really close to the corner. And you probably should wear shoes, but I'm good because I'm inside the house. So, oh, when you guys go on, you want to hold this really sternly but I don't need to but you guys should if you're not a pro beginners. put it on the side one leg if you're beginners on. not a pro but like if you're beginners oh um if what's it called once that leg comes on the side then we do this and it goes on two legs and these are both green you're good to go but if that one is this little dot is yellow you're not good to go and when it's down, it'll just start beep, 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 beep. And you'll know. So, and that's why you need to charge it for two hours. So, yeah. So, it's hard to explain how to go forward, left, right, and, and reverse. So, when you want to go forward, you don't, let's go seven miles per hour. So, it's pretty fast. So, let's say these are my feet, and this is the hoverboard on the bottom. You're going to want to push a little bit on the left foot to go straight. You kind of want to push on both of them. So basically, guys, you're going to lean your them. feet forward. Yeah, you're going to lean your feet forward. Yes, and then lean your feet backwards to go backwards. And then, yeah, just to go backwards, you're just going to lean a And then, so careful, you're going to hit the thing. And then to go left, right, all It's hard to opposite. explain, you guys. So, I'm just going to show you. Here's you kind of just have to learn by yourself. And right. <laughs> Careful. Um, you can also read the instructions because it does say, but I'm not exactly what it says because I don't have the paper in my hand. So yeah. So I'm just gonna no casually write it around. This is like normal to me. Now it's normal. And if 
you go past seven miles per hour, it will start beeping immediately, and it'll basically tell you to stop. And the faster you go, um, the faster it dies, the battery dies. So yeah. But if you're going to the park circles and circles, it'll probably die faster than just roaming around like the house. But yeah, just depends. It will last three to four days, I think. Basically, because I haven't charged mine for like a couple days. So probably like five <laughs> days I haven't charged mine. And I've charged it for two hours, so it's really good. But you, you do not want to leave it on because then it will die. Yeah. So when you get off, you just put one. Oh, you don't want to get off from the front. Yeah, if you get off in the front, it's going to flip. Like, try yeah. to demonstrate that. Okay, I'll try. Getting off in the front. Just don't get hit. So it will hit you in the back. Yeah, it'll hit you in the back of your but heel. But it's not, like, kind of, like, intentionally that you guys can see. Okay, and then you're going to want to put either foot left or right, left or right, either of the feet, either of the foot, uh, feet, foot off. <laughs> so I'm going to take off my right foot. Then I'm going to take it off, and the green button is on. And as usual, I'm just going to be, like, trimming it off like normal. And I, whenever it says green, you do not want to charge it. So, yeah, I hope this step-by-step -step video was good for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you recommend, if you have a different kind of goat, a different hoverboard, and if they're different or not. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.